so your picture is ready to print and you're going to export it but what about resizing it i'm going to show you how to use the resize module in on one photo raw Hi guys, Darren here from Emotive Training and I'm going to show you the resize. Now this is actually a, a really useful tool and I'm going to show you just why you should be using it. So this is just a, a standard picture. Um, it's not been heavily processed or anything, but I want to export it uh, for printing. So on the bottom right here, we have the resize and this is the resize module. Now I'm just going to start from the top and all the screens that you have in the develop module so that's all pretty normal but then we have pixel dimensions now this is the width and height in pixels okay document size uh settings sharpening film grain tiling and i want to show you exactly what they all do but let's get to document size first and this is just easy simple so let's start off with the document size now then let's say just very simply we want to uh, use a custom so we can go to the paper, um, the photographic. So these are just your, your actual sizes are, which are commonly printed. Um, let's just say 8 by 10. Now 8 by 10, this is not an 8 by 10 ratio. So it's brought up the box for you to actually crop it, which is really useful. But let's just reset that. And the next one is square. So again, it's using the same type of thing. Say, let's say you're going to make a 20 by 20 canvas out of this. You'd simply go, you simply go square, 20, 20. It's going to bring up the crop box for you to pick where you want to take the, uh, the image from. So again, really, really simple way to do it. Let's reset and go back. And the last one is video sizes. The custom is uh, literally you can set sizes up if you're going to use them often in here. But let's just go back and use it as a, just a standard resize. So let's say uh, this picture is going to be printed exactly the way it is, but 20 inches wide. Let's go with 20. Anything in the resize and give it a little bit of time to work it out. Uh, it does take time to do this part of the uh, processing and uh, you, if you start pressing buttons because it's not working it'll duplicate and duplicate and it gets off on a, a real muddle so just take your time while you're doing it so 20 inches wide if we reset it you can see even the height gone back so they are um, coupled together so when you change one the other will change let's say you, you want the height at, uh, let's say 15 See, it's automatically adjusted. The width was now going to be 22.54. So if you want a standard size 20 by 20, you just set up a, a nice custom 20 by 20 uh, or use one that's already there. Or if you wanted 20 inch by 15 inch, you'd set it up in the custom. Well, let's do that for you now. So let's add 15, so 20 by 15. 20 inches, 15 height. So now when you go into your custom, we have a 20 by 15. And that will automatically bring up the uh, crop tool so you can adjust the picture to get it to fit. There we go. Again, simple to reset. So the document size is really simple to use. So onto the settings guys and this one is image type and custom. So in here you have basic little presets all set up ready to go. Let's say high detail and it sets it up to run a high detail algorithm to, to increase the size of the picture. Let's just reset that um, and just use the custom. So the method, this is how the algorithm is actually going to resize your photograph using genuine fractals or on one resized portrait. Now the difference between the two is genuine fractals is how it's normally done. On one resized portrait is similar, but it's just a little bit more sympathetic to, to skin tones and, and stuff like that. Uh, and, and just keeps the detail, but keeps them nice and soft. 
we're just going to use genuine fractals now the texture threshold and smoothness these are just used just to tailor how you like the picture to actually be um, resized and ready to to export move on to the next one is sharpening so the sharpening I don't tend to use this to be fair because I do all my sharpening ready to go but if you haven't and you want to put a little bit on for uh, printing you can add a little bit of sharpening right here unsharp mask progressive high pass they're all there and it's very similar how you do it in the develop module now I do use film grain um, on certain pictures it does add something to it but I'm just going to show you the the actual how it works on this one so we're ready remember we're getting this ready to print so film grain and it's at 50 so if we just increase the size there we go you can see how much uh, grain it's actually done if I reduce a little bit you can see it's it's tailored it off and right up to maximum that's serious serious grain okay so back to 50 there we go tiling is so you can split the picture up now if you're doing a massive picture and you've got a small printer you can actually uh, put it into smaller photographs to print them on the small printer then join them together uh, obviously you wouldn't do this with a normal photograph but you can also use it if you want to make a a wall display let's say and you want to split this picture uh, into uh, four pieces so you're gonna have four different say canvases but close together so it looks like one picture well this is done here and it's very simple to use at the moment you can see it just cut down the middle there if you wanted to do the height let's say and put and, and cut it across there you would simply go half it and there we go if you want to break it down further well let's say to make each tile size three inches and the height every two inches and it's broken it right down now you can see because it doesn't fit the picture it overlaps slightly uh, but it's quite a cool thing if you if you're looking to do something a little bit different and on to the gallery wrap which is one of the very coolest parts I do like gallery wrap so if you're gonna make a canvas you obviously have the sides that wrap around how do you actually bring that into your image and oh, it's pretty simple gallery wrap will actually show you now remember I've just pressed that button you can see it's taking a bit of time to set this up don't press it again it does get itself in a bit of a muddle and takes a lot of time to do and you'll start duplicating so at the moment we are set at stretch so it's basically this is going to be a picture inside the inside blue line and these are going to be the bits that overlap and it's taken a small amount of the picture and stretched it down the sides you have other options for this you can reflect which means anything in the vicinity like see this building up here it's being reflected directly down the side and the same would reflect soft so it just softens that part of the image so it, it doesn't try and drag itself into the main image so we have stretch which we've already looked at and you also have stretch soft so again this just softens the image where it's been stretched I think this is quite a cool thing and uh, it's definitely usable now canvases come in all shapes and sizes and uh, different thicknesses from thin canvas to chunky canvas so if you want to change the depth of the sides that is by thickness okay say it's only a quite a shallow it's a one inch frame then you simply click one inch and again waiting for it don't be tempted to hit it again there we go it's just giving you a one edge border that's going to wrap around the picture so the sides sometimes can be a little bit distracting when you're looking at a canvas from the side slightly and let's say you want to tailor them back a little bit well we can pick a color and let's say it's at the moment a black let's turn it to white and now we can adjust the opacity so let's just say we want to reduce it by down to 38 now as you see it's just taking the edge off the main image so it's not going to drag your eye away from the center of the image to the sides because it's just that little bit fainter or if you want to just have a pure white side 
then bump your opacity right up to 100 and what this is going to do is give you uh, a totally white sided picture ready just to wrap around onto the canvas frame so let's just reset that so we've got a full picture so guys we're all done and ready to go let's just check through once again document size we said we wanted 20 didn't we so let's just put that in and it's going to be a 20 inch uh, longest edge which is going to be the width so it's 20 inch size I want it just as a genuine fact all sharpening I don't want I don't want any tiling and we're doing it as a gallery wrap because we're going to put this canvas on a one inch size canvas so what do we do we hit the export button now this is really simple I've shown this in other videos guys but I will show you again it's just a very very quick uh, export resize so you can add a, a watermark if you wish we have presets and we all know how much on one loves their presets and they're really useful but we're not going to do that we are going to hit simply hit JPEG we have our color profile now it's sRGB uh, but there are other than those guys if you use different ones and you can import your own location guys I'm not going to tell you how to locate your folder you all know how to do that I would guess um, but you also have the prevent overwrite and things like that in here as well so we'll get to show in finder and on to file names what are we going to call this image when it exports well let's say the current name's good but we want to add on the end it's a canvas for 20 inch let's say we can hit the plus button which gives us another option and this little arrow gives us three things current name text number text and let's say it's a canvas 20 now this will export with the file name of the current name and then the canvas 20 and it's as simple guys as hitting the export button and I'm on a Mac so it's opened up the finder and there is our picture ready to go so I've opened that image up in Photoshop and you can see where the picture has been stretched now this is a 20 inch picture that's how we want the canvas to come out so if we go into the image size and change this to inches we can see the picture is 22 inches but we asked it to be 20 why is it 22 I'll show you 20 inches is how big your canvas is going to be but you need that extra inch on each side to go down the sides okay so that's an inch then your 20 inches and then there's another inch on the other side just to wrap around your canvas and there we go guys that is resizing and exporting ready for print it's pretty simple on a one foot to raw and uh, it's definitely a tool that I would use thanks for watching if you liked the video please like comment and subscribe